Started the second half at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. The Demons lead by seven points, 49 to 42. Wind wins it down. Terry Wallace is on the ground now. Off the ground by Atkins. Glenn Lovett gets the kick inside the attacking 50. Long kick. Cuthbertson over the ball, pushed off it. Jackson scrambles one about five metres forward. Cuthbertson in the grasp. Ford got it to Owen. That wasn't his intention. Melbourne get the first goal of the second half. Rod Owen, his second, and Footscray making a mistake and paying the price. No real authority in trying to get that ball towards the boundary line. Owen swooping and getting the quick kick. And a similar start to that of Footscray in the second quarter at that end of the ground. So back to the middle once more with Wine. Steins, well the bounce is not a good one Terry Wallace tried to take it, he couldn't Steins got a long handball over the top Atkins unable to control it, Liberatore quick kick towards half forward uh, taken by Cullen, plays on quickly to Coleman from 50 metres proppy kick in towards the forward line, oh Wallace juggles Terry Wallace coming onto the ground for the first time we'll have a shot 35 metres out, almost directly in front. So the veteran the chance to reply. And he does. First goal to Terry Wallace. And a good one for the Dogs. 8-7. Plays 7-6. Gully Mark, that one. Going back with the flight of the ball, Terry Wallace. Juggling it. And eventually raking it in. Twice best and fairest at Hawthorne, twice at Footscray. Back in the middle once more. With Wind and Steins. Better bounce. No decisive winner. Clark to half forward, but no one at home. And Steve Wallace takes the mark. His fifth mark for the day. Heads towards Glenn Coleman. Punched away from him, out in front of Atkins and Ford. It's the latter who takes it and storms through the middle. Long and low up towards the half-forward line. But a very good mark taken by Peter Rowe. Goes across the ground. Steins lurking in that area. Chip short to Sean White. Pumps it with the left foot over the centre. But only as far as Peter Foster. Dropped a heavy one earlier on in the game, but has recovered well. Foster goes to Ford on the wing. He's got Stuart Wigney on the right half forward flank. Runs his full distance, then kicks with a right boot. In towards goal, goes over the top and through for one behind. So the margin now is one straight kick. Tony Campbell to bring the ball back into play. He kicked a goal for Melbourne in the first quarter. Now back in defence. Wine couldn't complete the juggle. Viney tapped it away from him and then was quick to apply the tackle on McPherson. Brett Lover does well. Goes out the back door to Clark, the former bomber. Goes to the left half forward flank. And a good mark. Gee, Not yes. pay oh. to Stephen Phoebe, who is somewhat perturbed. And so too is the Melbourne crowd. They have been all day, haven't they? That seemed to mark. It was the ground that forced the fumble. Boundary throw in. Dyson waiting in front. Can't control it. Flicks it out. Brett Lovett was he pushed in the back? Not according to the umpire. And another throw in. 8-7 plays 7-7. The Demons lead. Throw in on centre wing. It's cold but fine now. Had some rain in the second turn. Oh. Terry Wallace didn't have the ball and will get the free kick on the wing. Wallace 
kicked Footscray's last goal. Didn't see action in the first half. Kicks down towards half forward. Road waiting behind. Glenn Lovett, who's played well, scrambles a kick towards centre wing. Todd Viney, who's been busy. Through the wing towards half forward. Foster in best position. Takes the mark uncontested. Runners outside. Elects to kick. Finds McPherson inside the centre square. Steve McPherson props. Little check kick. Finds Charles. Well, Charles was surrounded by four Melbourne players. McPherson took the risk and it came off. Justin Charles has kicked two goals already. An improving young player. Has great agility and normally a pretty good kick. And if he boots this, watch out for the war dance because he'll be wrapped. Charles kicks. It's close. It's home. And there it is. Inhibited young man. <laughs> Eight seven apiece. Three goals to Justin Charles. One in the first, one in the second, and now that one. And the dogs will not lie down. Justin Charles is wrapped at that performance. This one could go right down to the wire. 55 points each. We've got a good game of football on our hands. Centre bounce was won by Scott Wine. Advantage is paid. Suddenly the ball running the way of the dogs. Or oh, oh. Royal goes down towards the half forward line. McPherson's kick under pressure goes out of bounds on the foot. Peter Rowe to bring it back into play from the back pocket. Coleman got in front of Steins but couldn't take the mark. Atkins goes over the top towards Wigney. And together with the ball, he goes over the line. Melbourne looking to consolidate their position in the top six. Footscray hoping to keep their finals hopes alive with this game. McPherson, Beveridge. McPherson again. Atkins towards the boundary line. Beveridge. Liberatore could have been held behind play, but it goes on. Wine sets himself. Wallace, Royal, Coleman. Just gets his kick in time. Long, penetrating kick. McPherson. Too slow. Liberatore at the bottom. Brett Lovett could have been leg. He was, said the umpire. And he will take it in the back pocket. Tony Campbell's got a big job down there, giving away a lot of height to Justin Charles. This is Lovett in the back pocket. Members side with a kick. Coleman's in front. Steins pushed him in the back. No free kick. Yes, there is a whistle. Now the advantage is paid. Puts in all sorts of trouble, but they work it out. Atkins got it to Cullen. 55 metres out from goal. Cullen, that was ambitious, paid the price. Glenn Lovett got it to Viney. Well played by Ford. Away comes Road. Road goes long towards half forward. Cuthbertson and out in front. Eppleston has done well in that duel. Got a timely fist in there. Winter has it hard against the boundary line. Sweeping hand pass back to Road, who's run on. Long kick down towards the kickoff line. Gow got a fist on it. Off the ground, Jackson. It's a goal. A bit of luck for the Demons. Jackson gets his second. They haven't had too much today. Gow got a fist on it, opposed to O'Dwyer. The ball hit the ground, and Jackson, always the opportunist, going off the ground. I think he shinned it through, but that was good enough. So Melbourne lead by six points. No rain now for probably three quarters of an hour, and I wonder if Darren Bennett may have an injury problem. Well, it could be the case. 61 plays 55. He ran off, didn't he? Wind. Could have been an arm injury. Wins it, but it'll be a free kick to go the way. Melbourne to be taken by Ford to Lyon. So Gary Lyon to send his team into attack. He's looking for the torpedo, didn't quite get onto it. Cuthbertson gets the hand pass away. Beveridge pulls it in towards goal. Hits the post. 
Luke Beveridge, eight kicks for the day. It takes Melbourne to 9 8. Leading Footscray 8 7. Guy again brings it back into play. Foster from behind. Liberatore waiting down in front. Should be able to get it away to Eppleston, who kicks back towards the centre, but kicked blindly in the mark taken by Sean White. gets round Coleman oh, showing extraordinary skills and then spirals it deep into the forward line at the back is Jackson the boundary line may be too close and we'll see a throw in in the left forward pocket well the dogs come back and Melbourne at the moment just seem to have the answer to keep their nose in front as Jackson has another snap at goal <laughs> Well, we've seen some miraculous goals from that end, and there's another one. First of all, it was Cameron, then it was Hawkins, and now Ricky Jackson with his third. Terrific goal, set up initially by his pace, but then the finish, as good as we've seen today. Cullen's off the ground, Georgiades is back on. Ricky Jackson has three goals. And Melbourne have skipped away once more and they lead by 13 points. Just over 16 minutes remaining in this third term. Wigney, got an unkind bounce. Lyon does well to Dyson. High kick, well inside the attacking 50. Strong work by O'Dwyer, body to body. And he was able to complete the mark. He's only about 25 metres out directly in front. Kick one so far. This to make the margin 19 points. Swings away right to left and misses. And missed that one. 10-9 to 8-7. That's been the case today. Generally, Melbourne have looked the more accomplished side. Footscray hanging on doggedly. That would have split them. As it was, O'Dwyer missed. This is Lyon. 60 metres out, pulls it back. Awkward bounce for O'Dwyer. Cuthbertson worried out of it by Hunter. And a further behind for the Demons. 10-10. Plays 8-7. Paul Gow. Well, Foster's got to beat a couple here. Edouard at the front, line at the back. Liberatore at the bottom, gets it out of the pack. Wallace. Terry. Towards centre wing. Flicked back in by McPherson, looking for Whitney. Out manoeuvred on that occasion, however. Viney, under pressure, goes back to Dyson. Dyson showing maturity beyond his years. Kicks towards the left half, forward Ooh. flank. Solid mark by Ford. And cop one for his trouble. Goes backwards to Eppleston. And he finds Wigney. Stuart Wigney. Kicks towards centre wing again. He wants Coleman. He may have got into the back. Royal is there trying to surge it forward towards Atkins who sits over it and gets one for pushing the back. Quick thinking by Simon Atkins there. Stabs into the forward line. Charles, good lead. Good kick. And Justin Charles, sensing he's got a vacant goal square, heads for home. Rode gets back there now with Hawkins, and Rode takes a fine mark. Bounces his way out of defence. Well played, showing plenty of dash. He comes up towards centre wing. Coleman will back into the pack. At the rear was Wine. Gives it across to Liberatore. Puts Atkins under a ton of pressure, but he gets out of it. On to Wine. Here's a chance for Footscray to mount something. His kick is a poor one. An effective spoil by Glenn Lovett sees it back in the centre. Liberatore runs into Phoebe. Viney gets caught. Lyon under pressure. Did get the handball away. Ford is held and he will take the free kick. Andrew Ford alongside the centre circle. Kicks inside the attacking 50. Cuthbertson on the lead takes the mark. He'll kick from just outside the 50. That's the one goal this afternoon. 
That's 24 for the season. It'll take a good kick. Hasn't got the carry. I think it has. It's a goal. The sparing lunge on the line by Wind, all to no avail. Cuthbertson's second goal, and Melbourne extend their lead. It's 11 10 to 8 7. There's 21 points the margin now, and Melbourne without Darren Bennett relying on Cuthbertson down in the forward line and also Steve O'Dwyer who's at full forward. Uh, Melbourne have made a change as I speak. Keogh has come back onto the ground at the expense of Phoebe. McPherson in the middle. Wine tried to stop the run. Stein soccer's off the ground. Out in front of Wallace and Lyon. One by Wallace. He's done well. Georgiadis back on the ground. A good kick finds Coleman. Wants someone going past. Georgiadis followed play down. The left footer stabs in towards Charles. Couldn't quite take it at the second attempt. Gets it across to Liberatore. Another one away towards Hawkins. He's under pressure. Terry Wallace now has a hurried snap in towards full forward. Close to the boundary line is Steve McPherson. And eventually the Melbourne defence butter up. It is Rode who gets it away. And Rocket Owen can't complete the mark on centre wing. It opens the door for Michael Ford, who kicks up towards half forward. Justin Carl is told to play on. Oh, that's pretty tough. A couple of pairs of hands on that one. Quite often, umpires will pay the mark to the man who comes down with it. But the umpire quite emphatic there. It wasn't a mark. Man, by me. No real remonstrating. Steins to Lovett, Brett Lovett. Over the centre. The Bulldogs really putting in a burst of absolute concentration here, a critical stage. They trail by 21 points. Sean White could have been ridden into the ground. Liberatore sits over it. Almost too long. Socket off the ground. Down towards Charles once more in the right forward pocket. Taken out of it by Campbell, but the big man recovers. Gets the hand pass away. Kicked by Hawkins back in towards goal. He can't reproduce a miraculous major as he did at the other end. And a behind is the result. Next goal is vital. You get the feeling Footscray realise they're slipping out of this game. They're making a concerted effort. Atkins... Not a particularly good hand pass. Wind an opportunity now. Away to Terry Wallace, who pumps it back into the forward line. Floating kick. White went back with courage and finds the boundary line. He just did that one a good 25 metres. To see him back and firing, Sean White. Very exciting player. Boundary throw in. Coleman and Steins. Coleman flicks it behind. Away comes Brett Lovett. Good use of the body by Viney, brought in some time. This is Owen in midfield to Grinter. Melbourne combining better at the present time. Kick towards half forward, Eppleston and Cuthbertson. They both finished up on the ground. Foot race towards the boundary line. Oh, great poise by Lyon in that battle with Foster. Spears the pass into Jackson. Classical football. Great balance by Gary Lyon against quality opposition. Jackson has kicked three goals. The margin currently as it was at quarter time. It's out to 20 points now. Ricky Jackson pulls it and misses to the near side. So the biggest lead in the game, 21 points for Demon's Way. Paul Gow to bring it in. Hasn't kicked in too well so far this afternoon. 11-11 plays 8-8 with just on nine and a half minutes remaining this vital third quarter oh Grinter far too early and has given away the free kick we'll have to come back well that's when the advantage should have been played Ford had run onto the ball about 20 metres down the ground storming away Gee. now he plays on to Hunter who floats it over the centre the dogs desperately wanting something here McPherson goes long and high. Campbell going back with the flight of the ball. Takes a wonderful moment. 
Brings it out to the half-back flank and Brett Lover. With him is Todd Viney. Just took his eye off for a moment but recovered well. Lover held and he'll be free kick. Finds Glenn Lovett on centre wing. Heads towards half forward for Steins and Wind. Grinder put to apply the tackle. A call of ball is ignored. Floating out towards Keogh. Oh, couldn't take it cleanly. Good hand pass by Cuthbertson. Now here's a chance for Steins. He gets clear and sets sail for home and swinging round in towards the square. And over for one behind. 22 points the margin. Eppleston got a terrible bounce at half back. Guy brings it back into play to Foster on to Georgiadis. Marks between half back and centre wing. Former Sibiaco player. Little chip pass. Steve McPherson. Right on the wing. Centres it. Wine goes back. Takes the mark. Pops it over to Liberatore. Pushed off the kick. As a result, they pay the price. This is Keogh. Long kick back into the forward line. Hunter all over Jackson. Jackson's got the three. Crowd 150. Jackson will kick from about 45 out. No doubting that. Mark Hunter wanted the ball, certainly, but was all over Jackson. He's kicking at his fourth goal. We'll take a good kick from here. Slides it across the face. Gow goes up, gets a fist on it, puts it out of bounds. Punched it against the behind post. Paul Gow, number 19. The defender's number, worn with distinction by Gary Merrington. Behind the pack, Ford, 15 metres out. Touched off the boot. They were lucky there, the Bulldogs. Now to kick it in. 11 13 to 8 8. And Footscray absorbing some pressure now as Hunter gives it back to Gow on the burst. Who shrugs the tackle of Owen. Kicks towards centre wing. Grinder waits and gains a possession. Kicks down towards Gary Lyon. 55 metres out. Oh, he pulls it back. Great vision by the Melbourne skipper. He saw Keogh out of the corner of his eye and found him. So Rod Keogh who spent some time on the bench this afternoon. Will be kicking for his first goal. And this is going to make it very difficult for the dogs if he's successful. Good looking kick right into the square. Wine got up and got a hand to it. It's pushed out towards the back pocket region where Lyon again will see it over. For another throw. 11-13 plays 8-8. Melbourne this quarter have added four goals, six. So they've had the opportunities. Foster tries to crunch it down to Wallace, who in turn gets crunched and gets pinged. <laughs> Gee. So Todd Viney to take it. He's had a good day. He's having a fine year. 16th kick in towards O'Dwyer. Couldn't take it cleanly. Ford gets it away to Wine. The big man gets a hurried kick. Wigney takes a mark under some pressure from Dyson. Told to play on now, he's at right half back. Kicks it high towards centre wing, Melbourne have got the numbers. White flying from behind, through his hands and out of bounds. 11-13 Melbourne, Footscray 8-8. Boundary throw in centre wing. Footscray is struggling to stay in touch now. Steins and Coleman. Coleman got the fist on it. White into the path of Beveridge. Ford of centre wing goes across the ground. Good looking kick on the lead. The mark is taken by Cuthbertson. Too far out to score. Chips it out into open space ahead of Lyon. But Foster read it best. Didn't take the mark. Assisted though by Eppleston. Back to Foster. Ford of left half back. Penetrating kick and a good one too. Georgiati's on the outer side. Down towards left half forward. Footscray needing a goal. 
They will finish with the breeze, worth a couple of goals, we fancy. Giorgiati is too close to the man on the mark. It ricochets down inside the attacking 50, and Clark escorts it across the boundary line. Good term, this one, by Melbourne. Just over four minutes remaining till three-quarter time, so a chance for them to improve. This is McPherson. Not a particularly good kick. Beats everybody. Road leads back in the race. Deep in his own defensive area. Tries to go over the top. Liberatore's got it. Pulls it back. Campbell. Glenn Lovett brings it away. Lovett's kick. Grinta with a one hand. And the Melbourne supporters love it. Grinta's kick over centre wing. Towards Cuthbertson. He may lose this. Oh, dear. That is a shocking decision. The umpire had no chance of seeing him there. He was directly behind the two players on the ground, both of whom had a hand on the ball. Coleman trying to tap over the back, not successful. Viney through at the second attempt. A hurried kick, but no one at home. Wallace and McPherson both out there for the dogs. And Steve Wallace can bounce his way down towards half forward. They want something fast. Footscray, they have a chance in this game in the final quarter. The only one down there, however, is Whitney. He applies the tackle. The ball spills free and over the line. Just over three minutes remaining. The margin is 23 points. From the throw-in, Coleman plucks it out of the air, snaps, but is off target. And one behind. 22 points. 8 9. So he's 11 13. Tony Campbell to the outer side looking for Steins. He has assistance in the form of Lovett. And with Keo, they drift it down towards the half forward line. O'Dwyer comes steaming over the top. Atkins it is, who eventually gets it out to Whitney. The dogs a chance to clear, but they want a goal and they want it fast. Eppleston's kick up towards Stuart Whitney. With him is Dyson, but the mark will be paid to the Footscray big man. Simon Atkins is something of a marvel. Quick hands back in that congestion. 28 possessions so far. He's having a wonderful afternoon. There's Wigney, just over two minutes remaining till three-quarter time. Not a good kick, Steins. He's done well this afternoon. 23rd possession for Dyson. The 34th man taken in this year's March draft. A real bargain goes long towards half forward. Loose ball behind, Owen on the 50. Tried to do too much there and gives it away. Out of bounds on the full in the left full forward pocket. 11-13, 8-9, Melbourne lead. Gow, across the ground, McPherson. Terry Wallace needs support. They're in trouble now. Keo to Viney. 40 metres out, Todd Viney. Has he got the accuracy? Yes, he has. His first goal. And Footscray had a chance to set it up. McPherson, metres in the clear took the wrong option, gave it to Terry Wallace. He was tackled. No one on hand to lend support. Coughed up the ball and Todd Viney got the goal. And Footscray got the problems. <laughs> 85 plays 57. Footscray will be going with a scoring end in the final term, but it's going to be a big ask. Terry Wallace steams through the pack and gives it to Peter Foster towards Hawkins, can't take it with the one hand Coleman applies the pressure on White he gets assistance from Glenn Lovett goes long over centre wing, a lion backing into the pack does well and he's got support too, good play here's Clark, inside 50, almost to 40 long and low, over the top it goes and one behind Clark had his chance there 86 plays 57 29 points 
Wigney, oh dear, it was too short. But Dyson may have tried to be a little clever, put Owen under pressure as he kicks in towards goal. Lyon at the back, Keogh at the bottom. Umpire lets play go on, and eventually it's Hunter who brings it away for Footscray. But a couple of nasty errors there that almost proved very costly for the Dogs. McPherson around the outer side, has a bounce, almost siren time. McPherson down towards half forward. Glenn Lovett comes up to meet the ball. Three-quarter time after a stirring turn by Melbourne. They've kicked away and one senses they may have this game in their grasp. It's going to take something special for Footscray to win this. 12-14 Melbourne, Footscray 8-9. Sorry, mate, I didn't realise it was so close to the side. 